John Seal is one of the reenactors who helps bring the battle to life. And nobody knows exactly how many uh, were here, but certainly we're talking of you know six to eight thousand um, royalists and probably eight to nine thousand Parliament. <laughs> the battle uh, situation would have been mayhem for most of the ordinary soldiers. Um, there would have been the muskets firing, uh, shot flying through the air, swords clanking, um, the pikes themselves with their sharp spearheads. Um, and so all sorts of mayhem would have been going on around you. And you would have been trying to uh, make sure that you weren't the one that was killed. The gun When I walk the area now, it seems very peaceful. It's a very peaceful countryside. Um, hard to believe that, in fact, uh, back in 1644, there was such a serious battle taking place in these fields. Paul McTaggart is just one of the villagers searching for clues. The first time I've seen uh, someone dig up uh, a coin out of the beach, it was only a, a 50 pence piece, I was hooked. It was something that I wanted to do, and it was, it was the, the lure of treasure. But as I've found out as, as time goes on, um, that uh, treasure doesn't always come. But that never bothered me, I, I just wanted to find history. I found um, Roman coins, Celtic coins, um, musket balls. They're all over the place, they're little round bits of lead. Um, you get various sizes which are from um, pistol balls to uh, musket shot. Some have been fired and some haven't. You can tell by that is a fired one, it's been, it's, it's been fired through the, the musket and shot out of the ground. That one's been fired because um, it's hit the ground. It may have hit a person, whereas a, a drop ball is perfectly round. In the heat of battle, that would have been in someone's mouth or ready for fire, and the guy next to him was shot, and in the panic, he just gasped, and that probably dropped out of his mouth. <laughs> 